Still morning. Good morning, guys. Uh, are we still awake? No, huh? Are we still awake? Yeah. Can I have a round of applause for the people who did stay in the room? Come on, give us yourselves a round of applause. Good job. Okay. And um, I would like to start. Uh, my name is Sami Mustafa. I direct the EMEA operation for Energy, which is part of Delta Electronics. Um, I'll get started really quickly on this, um, just to give you an idea about Energy, give you an idea about Delta Electronics. Um, very short history that we have, and uh, also try to go a little bit into the strategy. Rather than going product by product, giving you a total product idea, I would like to give you a bit of a strategy idea of what we are going to be doing in the EMEA and what we have been doing in the EMEA. Um, let me start with Delta Electronics um, before you fall asleep here, um, because this is exactly what you're going to be looking up when I'm finished. <laughs> but uh, come on, guys, laugh for me, okay? When I make a joke, you laugh, okay? It's just part of the show, okay? So uh, with Delta Electronics, um, I don't know if you know the name. We're not the airline. We are uh, one of the biggest manufacturers for power solutions, brushless fans. Uh, we uh, focus a lot on e OEM, ODM business. Um, just to give you an example, um, started a long, long time ago. I don't know if you know this guy, God rest his soul. Um, they had to have a 45 watt power supply. And in those days, a 45 watt power supply would be about this big. We make a lot of sound, we'll get really, really hot. So they designed something much smaller that would fit in their casing, and they came to us and said, like, listen, we don't have a manufacturing line. Could you do this for us? And since then, we've evolved very far from that original Apple II to the today MacBook adapter, which we have 85% market share on, and we produce for Apple. But next to Apple as well, we have several other partners. I think you would know a few of these names here. One of our partners is, uh, pre had presented a few minutes ago, Lenovo, is a very good partner of ours. And um, we manufacture for these guys. Uh, 3M, we don't do the post-its, we do the projectors. Um, <laughs> for Ford, we don't make the cars and you can't get any free samples, especially not for GM. Uh, we do the electronics and fans and things like that. Tesla, I've tried to get some of samples from them, but they never give us any. But I mean, uh, some names that you might not know, like Foxconn, is one of our partners as well. But I just want to give you an idea that we have a very deep reach into the market and we do understand the trend. And this gives us a head start when we develop products. So what kind of products do we have? One of them we are presenting on our booth, maybe you have seen it, it's the whitest booth you'll ever see. And uh, on that booth we have our UPS systems. It's a reliable power source. And I think this is one of the most important products, especially for your business, because when you present this product to your customers, you're presenting comfort, safety. The simple idea that when there's a power shortage, they are safe. And you know, some of us Europeans will say like, yeah, but this never happens in Europe, you know? When you're in Africa, yes, I'm from Egypt myself. I think we can count the days we do have power rather than the days we do don't. But if you look at, for example, Munich in 2012, Power outage, a lot of companies suffered massively. New York, okay. power outage every five minutes. So it's a very important product, very reliable, good margin maker, and you're selling comfort, so it's easy. I think this is one of the only products that I'm going to be presenting. Okay. The rest is all about what have we achieved up to now and how have we achieved that, and what do we intend to improve, because it's all about improving. It's not about what we've done. It's about what we can do and what we've learned and how many failures we've had so we can learn from those failures. But let's talk about the success first, otherwise it's going to be very depressing. Uh, we have 18 awards, industrial awards uh, today. These are some of them. I'm not going to go one by one, don't worry. Uh, next to that, we are operating in 41 countries. We've only been around for four years. Our division within Delta has only been around for four years. So 41 countries is a lot of work, a lot of traveling. You can see it probably on my eyes. And, um, Thanks to you guys, we have 210 retail accounts. When I talk about retail accounts, I'm not talking about Jack around the corner. He's very important to us as well, but when I talk about chains, these are the chains we're talking about, which are about two 10,000 store locations. And you know, when we talk about listing, we're not talking about one product hanging somewhere on the bottom of the shelf. We're talking about meters. We're talking about real listings and concepts in the store. And um, very important, we have 6.5 million happy customers, and happy is very important, happy customers today. Yeah. 
um, how did we do this? Okay, we have a clear strategy. Uh, we have a clear idea on what needs to be done in the retail channel in order to create a success. How much the distribution purchases from us or how much retailer purchases from us is really irrelevant. What's important is how much do we sell through and how can we drive that sell through. And I'm sure you have many, many ideas, but we've put this all in a nutshell. First of all, you need dedicated space. Okay, and this dedicated space needs to be planogrammed well. Okay, it needs to be in every category. You have the Apple category, you have the normal tablet category, you have the smartphone category or mobile category, and then you have, of course, a laptop category. And we make power. And I was looking through all of these slides and I was listening to Nick, what he was talking about. And if you think about it, there are more and more mobile devices coming to the market. And if you look at these mobile devices and you look at the smartphone, I read a very nice article about what the smartphone is going to be for us in the next 10 years. Now, I'll just name three. One is it's going to be your personal assistant. Secondly, it's going to be your wallet. And thirdly, it's going to have a 3D screen. Now, what do you need if you have all of that? Power, <laughs> okay? You're never going to have enough power. I'm sure when you go to the airport every day, because you travel a lot. When you get to the airport and you've just gone with the bus because you don't want to take your own car and pay the very massive parking charges, by the time you get to the airport, you've only got 40% left on your phone. And now you need to think about, damn, I've got another 11 hours to fly, and the only thing that I've got to entertain me, apart from that stupid film that I've seen 75 times, is my smartphone or my tablet. But you haven't got enough power. And that's why we believe that this is a growing category. We can see that it's getting very saturated, but we were one of the first, and we are one of the most innovative companies. And at the same time, we are the actual manufacturer. We don't just label and put it and sell it out. We actually manufacture and innovate in these products. And please feel free to visit our booth. You're very welcome. Then we can show you the actual product as well. So dedicated space, put it in the right category, put the right product mix for different channels, like the Telco channel has its own product mix. The Retailer has his own uh, product mix, and for online, it has to be more engaging as well. And then we put a sales promoter in the store, not only to actually sell our product, but actually show the sales staff how they're supposed to be selling our product, and show the store manager you can sell our product, because then he goes to his sales staff and says, like, listen, these guys, they just did about 10 units per day, and you're doing like one per week, so come on, guys, do something here. I notice I only have one minute left, I talk too much, so then we do a staff training because they want to hear what we have to say, and then after that we monitor the results, and this is actual results, we usually see a 200% growth every time we do a sales training. Okay. More importantly, this is what it looks like today in the stores, it's a concept, and what we try to understand is always remember that retail is detail. You know, we say this is cliche, but retail is really detail, and it's something that we need to focus on. Um, but how do we connect with the consumer? And I'm going to go through this really quickly now. We connect with the consumer. What do they value? What is actually the value that they have? Uh, there's so many things. When I look at packaging and I look at presentation of companies, they talk about all these different things. But is this really what the consumer wants to know? Are we actually appointing the consumer? Is it really about the device itself that we're charging? I charge your iPhone or I charge your iPad? I think it's more about what the real value is for the consumer. And that's the experience. It's about my favorite song, or my favorite tune. Yeah, that's what I want to listen to. I don't care how I'm listening to it, I want to listen to my song. I need the power for that. Or a new experience. Yeah, if you want to have that experience, you need to provide the power in order to have that experience. So we power up your experiences rather than powering up your devices. And that's, I think, the message that we need to give to the consumer. And um, this is how we do it. So yesterday I showed the life up in a very, very 60 second massive time pressure, which wasn't enough really to explain the product how I want it to, it wasn't very well done by us. But this is how I really want to present it. Um, it's about comfort, it's about charging your devices in a comfort situation because you paid 699 euro for this device and you're cramped up in your couch. And now you can enjoy the experience of your product with a four and a half meter cable. Yeah? With three devices, 30 watt, but I don't want to get too technical on you guys. And we need to engage and interact and educate our consumers. Now, I've got a very short video for you guys. If this doesn't explain it to you, it definitely won't explain it to the consumer. So please tell us, it's because we have to change it then. I'll just put the video on for you guys. Yeah. <laughs>
So this is what we have in most of the retail stores. Um, we put a screen, and it's a very reliable screen, and it runs this video. We put this also on YouTube, and we looked at the retention rate, and we saw that actually 75% of the people watched it till the end. So that's very good. So that means that it really explained it to the people. Please give us your feedback later on if this is a video that explained it to you. Now I don't need to talk about my product anymore. I'll let the video do it. And um, this is the packaging that we have. Um, we are further improving on this packaging, trying to explain the product better. Uh, but this is just to give the product a more high value. It's also in the Apple stores, so we are getting a lot of referencing for these products as well. And last but not least, the POSM that we have. So it's all about the experience, it's all about engagement. I hope that I have shared a little bit of our ideas with you, and I would like to thank you very much for your time, and uh, I hope you enjoy the rest of the show. Thank you very much. Sammy, thank cheers. You very thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank yeah. you.